Hey everybody, I know it's been a minute since I did a video, but I got some new stuff today and I thought, well, why not? Let's get a video going today. Um, I actually just got the Best Port two-person hiking tent, I believe is what it was. Um, I got it off Amazon for $59. And it's, this is how it comes. Lightweight camping tent. It's nothing special about the packaging at all. I mean, it does the job. Um... Like I say, it weighed in at 5.6 pounds, if I remember correctly. I ain't going to swear to that. It's not the lightest thing I've ever got, but it's not heavy either, if it makes sense. Um, I figured I'd go real quick and just kind of show how it comes. And here in a minute, I'll set it up and see how it looks from the inside. Uh, we'll both get to see it for the first time together. <laughs> little stuff sack doesn't feel too bad at all and it's not probably the greatest one ever made but it will do the trick all right inside here got a little clippy like that just nifty and the uh, stakes And by the way, I went with the bright green because I don't really care about colors that much. And it was a little bit cheaper to go with the green instead of uh, gray, I believe it was. Well, those are light. Got a little aluminum stakes. There's the tent poles. Oh, that's nifty. It's got the little shelf goes across the top even. Well... There's not a lot to talk about on it. It is made of 68D polyester with PU coated. It's three to four season and two persons, of course. Made in China, of course. No, no, no questions on that. Um, everything I read on it says it's a good tent. I'm going to give it a shot. The worst that can happen is it'll go with the Bass Pro tent in there on the shelf and be used at, like, half two cases but uh let's get it set up see what it looks like and go from there right. it took me about a minute and a half to get it to this point um those together really quick the poles themselves are aluminum uh they feel pretty sturdy i don't know if i say they're the best but it will do the trick uh of course i haven't put the ring fly on yet but it looks really well ventilated two doors which i think is pretty nice it's supposed to be a two-person tent and I believe I did call it the wrong name. It's the basic two-person. Uh, it's got a nice deep tub in it. I like that. It feels pretty quality. Uh, see a few little strands here and there of like threads coming out. But I don't see any that are just completely horrible. Uh, you know... At the end of the day, what do you expect for a $50 tent, right? You don't expect perfection, but still. Uh, it's got... Oh, I also like this. Just to make sure I show that. The uh, feet themselves, for the uh, poles, actually have this little clip down here that made it really easy throwing it together by myself out here. Like I said, in less than, less than two minutes, I had it set up to this point. Can't really fuss about that. Uh, haven't tried the zipper just yet. And it's a, it's a zipper. <laughs> it does the trick. Uh, like I say, a couple stitches here and there that leave a little concern. But all in all, for a $50 tent, I didn't expect a lot. So, so far, par for the course. Not bad. Rain fly took me just an extra second or two, but not many more. Uh, I may not have done it exactly right, but it's pretty close. <laughs> uh, thing I think is pretty neat is it actually has little Velcro sticks in there to help keep its vent open. I thought that was kind of neat. Or 
you can keep it closed of course. Uh, two vestibules, one on each side of course, and here's another vent. Even with the rain fly, like I say, it'll take and come down, Velcro's down. Probably not the sturdiest thing I've ever seen, but it will do the trick. there's your way in and uh, what do you say we crawl on this thing see what it looks like inside sounds like a plan to me don't you uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm 5'11 so I mean I'm not the tallest son of a gun in the world but I fit in here just fine uh, definitely fit two people in here without a lot of issue got plenty of feet room uh, like I say, the biggest thing I'm seeing so far is like this. I'm not too sure on that. I forgot the uh, little ceiling shelf outside. But right there's where it goes. It's got pockets on each corner. It's kind of neat. Um, overall, I mean, like I say, for a $50 tent. I'm not going to say I was expecting a whole lot. So it's already surpassed my thoughts on it. And the ground's dampish today. It's not wet by no means, but it's damp. And I'm not able to feel that through here. So that's a perk. Um, of course, I won't know how well it really works till I get to use it. But there is a solid chance I may get to use it this week. So, I'm going on a hunting trip to uh, Land Between the Lakes. So, imagine that, me back in Land Between the Lakes, right? <laughs> but, I'm going to take this along with us, and as long as it's not just butt cold, I'm going to stay in this thing, I think. But overall, I'm kind of impressed. Like I said, it's not the most expensive tent, so I'm sure it could use some stuff here and there. And, uh, but $55, $60, I'm not going to fuss so far. It came together. That's <laughs> already better than expected. Uh, it's got some pretty cool features. I'm kind of excited to try it out. After my last hike where I ran into the trouble of not having a place to hang a hammock, I thought, man, I really want a freestanding tent, and that's what I've got. I'm kind of looking forward to giving it a shot. Like I say, it's a beast sport. I think it's how you'd say that. I'm not but, uh, look it up on Amazon. It was on sale when I got it, so I thought, why not? Worst that's going to happen is I've got another tent sitting around for somebody if I need it. So Now we just got to try it out and see how she works. So far, I'm impressed. So, this is my first, like, seriously decent gear review i guess i don't know first unboxing that's for sure but uh if you liked it by all means click like and if you like so far what i'm showing on the channel subscribe there's gonna be more coming along soon i'm steadily trying to work on stuff uh, i work on a tow boat so i'm gone a lot but i'm trying to stay on top of things a little bit and uh, there'll be more coming pretty soon